All right, it's Barry, and today on Grow It, I'm going to share with you my top five favourite sweet pepper varieties that I think you should have a go at growing this year. We're into the first bit of March now, and since a few of you will either be sowing your peppers now or at least getting ready to, it's the perfect time for me to give you all the different varieties that I'll be growing this year. Of course, when you start to sow your seeds, it's entirely dependent on your local climate, wherever you are in the world. So you may not even be thinking about sowing them yet, but where I live in the northwest of the UK, it is fairly mild in winter compared to the rest of the UK. So I do get a bit of a head start on everybody else. I do still start my plants in a heated propagator to get them up to around 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. So if you're only growing with an ambient outdoor temperature, it's best to just wait until later in the year but do let me know in the comment section where you are in the world and when you'll be sowing your pepper plants because it is really interesting to see everyone's different methods and when they start growing before we get onto the list it's my first video back for a while and maybe you're new to my channel so first I like to do my favorite thing with plants and that is have a quick rundown on all the backgrounds of the plant because it's always nice to get to know the plants that we grow a little bit better and get to know where they come from. Peppers are a berry and uh, sometimes called bell peppers or sweet peppers and they're the fruit of a selection of cultivars of flowering plants from the species Capsicum annuum which is a nightshade from the family Solanaceae and it's a close relative of tomatoes, potatoes and tobacco just to name a few. Of course a big trait of the nightshade plants that you'll know if you've seen my other videos is the production of alkaloids which are a potent chemical compound such as capsaicin, nicotine and solanine with capsaicin the one of interest in pepper plants as this is where we get all of that burning sensation that are attributed to the heat from. But not to worry, the development of sweet peppers with no heat at all during the 1920s in Hungary brought us the selection of tasty fruits that we have today. They come in a wide range of colours, shapes and sizes with the most common ones that we have here in the UK at least being red, yellow, green and orange bell peppers with red Romano peppers usually sold as like a deluxe version in supermarkets for whatever reason. There's also some smaller varieties marketed as lunchbox peppers and some seedless sweet mini peppers for children that have been turning up quite a bit more recently as well. To sow pepper seeds, you'll need a seed tray or pots, seed compost, or you prefer growing medium, and of course, your sweet pepper seeds. First, fill the seed tray or pots with some compost and water it well. Next, press the pepper seeds into the compost, making sure that they are covered with a thin layer of compost over the top. Cover the seed tray or the pot with a lid or some form of plastic wrap to create a mini greenhouse effect, which will retain heat and humidity for those important growing conditions that your pepper seedlings will need as they begin to germinate. Place a seed tray or pot in a warm place at least 16 degrees Celsius, but ideally above 18 to 20 degrees and keep them out of direct sunlight. Keep the compost moist but not waterlogged, which is best achieved by watering with a fine mist sprayer at first and then after about 7 to 10 days, the pepper seeds should germinate and start to sprout. Once the seedlings are large enough to handle, transplant them into individual pots ready to grow on. This video is dealing entirely with sweet peppers because hot peppers would need their own entire video because there's so many of each. So let's get on with it and have a look at my top 5 favourite pepper varieties that you should definitely give a go this year. First up, I've got a variety called Snack Bites Mix, which is an F1 hybrid that are available from Thompson & Morgan Seeds in the UK but there are other alternatives in other countries, so if I can find those, I'll stick them in the description uh, so you can check those out as well. These are the closest peppers that I could find to the mini lunchbox varieties that I mentioned earlier, and these plants produce a load of peppers that are around seven centimeters in size, which is around three inches, and they've been developed to be extra sweet, which makes them a great treat to eat as a snack on their own, rather than other varieties that are best suited for salads and cooking. Next up, we have the Summer Salad F1 Hybrid Cultivar. These peppers are large and bell-shaped, producing peppers in a variety of colors, which makes them perfect for stuffing or slicing. What I like about these particular ones is that they have quite a sweet and mild flavor, which makes them a great choice for those people who do prefer a milder pepper. You can find Summer Salad F1 Hybrid seeds online at Thompson & Morgan in the UK, or there are similar varieties available wherever you get your seeds from. This video isn't sponsored by Thompson & Morgan, by the way. It's just, uh, I just happen to get a couple of my varieties of peppers from them because they do have some quite nice varieties, but there is plenty, so I'll make sure that there is a good selection down in the description for when you want to check those out. And on that note, the last one that I get from Thompson & Morgan is the Sweet Aster F1 variety, and I only really get them when they have a sale on or free shipping or something because they're really not very good value at 50p a pack, and you only get five to eight seeds in the pack. So when you're looking at 10p a seed, 
and that's when they're on sale it's not not particularly brilliant but especially when you compare it to other places that are doing like 100 or 200 for 99p but i do like the variety so it is worth it and maybe i'll get two or three germinate out of those as well so yeah 50p for a couple of plants isn't that much of a big deal so i i, I don't mind getting them for a bit of a treat uh yeah i do get them because they are the really nice peppers to grow and the fruit are dead along the yellow peppers that taste absolutely fantastic so i suppose they are the sort of peppers that would be sold in a premium range in the shop so for me they are worth that bit of an extra price for the seeds just as a fancy treat for later on in the year when they're ready to harvest the romano sweet pepper is a variety of pepper that is known for its sweet slightly smoky flavor the medium to large in size with a long and narrow shape the pepper skin is thick and its flesh is really firm, crisp and juicy and they're typically a deep red or yellow to orange colour when they're fully ripe. These peppers are great for grilling, roasting or adding to salads and sandwiches and Romano sweet peppers are also an excellent source of vitamin C and other antioxidants which makes them a great addition to your diet. They're a really versatile pepper and you can eat them raw or cooked and I like to make sure that I have at least three to six of these plants in the greenhouse every year for a really great supply of peppers later on in the year. I've got my Romano pepper seeds from Wilco which is a home store in the UK for I think around 50p or a pound a pack and last autumn I got a few extra packs as well when they were 10p when they were clearing out all the stock so it's a really good idea to keep an eye out at the end of the season for any sales and things on seeds because they've normally got a couple of years on the shelf life so you can buy them in autumn and then use them the next year or even the year after that so it's always worth picking them up when you see them and you can also pick them up online from the likes of Premier Seeds Direct or Amazon. And finally, my favourite pepper variety of all, California Wonder. And I usually get some TMR 300 red and green and some gold ones as well, just to make sure that I have a really good selection of colours. The California Wonder pepper is known for its large size and its thick flesh. They're typically 10 to 15 centimetres or 4 to 6 inches long and 4 to 5 inches wide. And they have a classic bell pepper shape. The pepper skin has a bright green colour when they're unripe and then it gradually turns to red, orange or yellow as it ripens depending on the variety. California Wonders are crisp with a mild sweet flavour and they're a great addition to salads, sandwiches and other dishes because just like the Romano peppers, they can be used both raw and cooked and they're often used for being stuffed, grilled or roasted. And these peppers are also very easy to grow and can be grown in a variety of climates so they're the perfect choice wherever you live. You might even be able to get away with growing them outdoors in the UK during nice summers. Uh, if you aren't in the UK, where do you grow your peppers? <laughs> Just let me know in the comments if you grow yours in a greenhouse or outdoors because uh, some people are lucky enough to get away with growing them outside but usually I'll just grow them inside just to make sure and maybe if I've got a couple of plants left over I'll stick them in a bed outside to see how they get on but normally because they take longer to grow and they take longer for the fruit to grow and everything they don't get quite the same size or like amount of peppers later on in the year so i normally just stick to keeping them inside and i think this year i'll get some in the polytunnel as well just to make use of all that space and um yeah see what i end up with at the end of the year but they are the best one for me so if you're only just going to grow one variety i'd say get that one well there we are the first video of 2023 and the first full video for a while let me know in the comments section which pepper varieties you're going to be growing this year and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and check out all of my other videos for loads of tips and inspiration to help you get the most out of your growing space no matter how big or small it is and i'll see you next time